uh, works on a committee that has broad jurisdiction over health care, the environment, commerce and trade, energy policy, telecommunications, manufacturing, and consumer protection. She's joining me today uh, to talk about her support for the Biden-Harris ticket and to talk about why it's important that we all vote. Uh, Congresswoman, good morning and thank you. Good afternoon when we broadcast this. Thank you for being here. And you have to unmute your, your microphone. Great. Hello, Al. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, and uh, so good to be with you and the people of Minnesota. Just proud to be here. Thank you, and your reputation precedes you. So I'm I am honored to be on your show. Well, uh, that's amazing, but thank you so much. Gracious of you. Listen, you've got a short amount of time. I want to get to the things that really, really matter, and that is the election. We are running headlong into the greatest decision our people and maybe the world will face in the next several days. Uh, what's your take? Where are we and what message are you bringing to voters and Americans all over the country? Well, first of all, thank you. And you're right, I wear different hats. Um, I am a national co-chair for the Biden-Harris campaign, as well as I got a chance to serve as one of the four co-chairs on the VP selection committee um, that helped Joe Biden pick Kamala Harris in that historic pick for vice president. And I could tell you, I, I don't think I need to tell anybody, we know how high the stakes are in this election. And we know that there is a big difference between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. um, I've known Joe Biden for over 30 years here in Delaware um, as our senator and as our vice president. And what he presents in terms of the credibility, the confidence, the experience, that's already known. But what he said when he decided to run was that this was about the soul of this country, about the soul of America. That was pre-COVID. That was pre-George Floyd's passing, murder. Now more than ever, when he decided to do that run, I remember talking to him, it was after Charlottesville, mm -hmm. and knowing that we had a president who really doesn't care about us. He'll use us, but he doesn't care about us. And so when you look at the agenda that Biden and Harris have moving forward, I think it touches on the things that all of us care about, jobs. I mean, you know, when I talk, a lot of people who don't vote, and especially I, I saw a, a survey that um, was done on Black folks, and mm -hmm. we said one of the challenges is many times we vote, but we don't see the connection between our vote and what happens on the ground. And that's why a lot of people don't even want to vote. But I'm going to tell you, there is a real, real connection. Jobs, access to capital to start your own business. Joe Biden has that plan. College, affordability. He has a plan to invest in our HBCUs and our minority serving institutions. Even looking at the issues of criminal justice and social justice, mm -hmm. he has an actual plan for these things and is ready to start on day one. But then you look at our president and I just asked the question, I actually do this thing now, I call it shaking my head. Are we safer <laughs> since this man came in? No. Are we more united as a country? No. And are we healthier physically and financially? No. I'm just shaking my head. If we don't vote and turn out like we never had before, then shaking our head on us because this is our moment. This is our opportunity to transform this country and to deal with the deep seated issues of structural and institutional racism as well. Now's the time. Congresswoman. So, Lisa Blunt Rochester in the past last few minutes that we have. I know you've got a tight schedule today. Thank you again for taking time, but I want you to address the uh, uh, COVID-19, the impact yes. of that and our inability, the inability of the president and the White House to seriously address what Americans need to do to, to protect ourselves and how do we yeah. rebuild our economy? What are your thoughts? Well, you know, first of all, the fact that he doesn't follow the science, again, a big difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Joe Biden listens to the science and understands that in order for us to get our health and well being, because we know that black and brown people were disproportionately impacted by this pandemic. We're dying more, we, we are at risk when we go to work more, and our financial stability 
is more harmed. And so Joe Biden understands the first thing we have to do is get this pandemic under control. The president, I, I actually was in the room where it happened, where the debate was, where with, with the president and vice president. He didn't even care to be tested to make sure that he was healthy and just spread the germs because it's about him and not about us. Mm -hmm. And I think that on the reason why I can't stay on the call long is because I'm about to be on a call with the Democratic leadership to talk about a COVID-19 relief package so that we can make sure that people have the stimulus checks and that they have the unemployment and that they have the childcare and things that we need to move us forward. I will just say, there is a website. If, if Michelle Obama said, make sure you pack a lunch, a dinner, wear your comfy shoes, whatever you have to do, there are many options to vote. Make a plan that works for you. Go to iwillvote.com backslash MN. Know what your options are. Think about what works best for you, what is safest. You have a plan A and B. Mm -hmm. And make sure everybody you know, like, don't just say, do you have a plan? Show me your plan. <laughs> My biggest message for, for all of us, whether you are young, whether you are a black man, because mm -hmm. we need our black men. Mm -hmm. We need you. My biggest message is let us not be bamboozled. Mm -hmm. We're going to vote. We're going to vote like we've never voted in our lives. And I am hopeful. I continue to have hope. Because I, I, I'm, I'm a person of faith and I, I believe it says lamentation says this I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. It's mm -hmm. because of our mercy, God's mercy that we're not consumed. Great is his faithfulness. So we got to do our part. That's right. That's my message. I will vote dot com backslash M N. Make your plan. See what your family's plan is and vote. Vote, it, it, vote, vote. In that spirit, my wife Bobby and I just voted half an hour ago, and so <laughs> we uh, and you know we voted for the uh, Biden Harris ticket. Uh, we are hopeful and committed to uh, making a difference and a change in our country. Uh, Lisa Rochester, thank you so much. Thank you for your service, <laughs> your leadership. Let's come back again in the future because I want to talk about your experience when you were here at the George Floyd uh, event here in Minnesota. That'll be our next conversation. Thank you so much. Love to. Thank you, Minnesota, and vote. Take <laughs> care. Right. Thank you.